To follow the steps in this video, you need to have a Mixpanel account and a project created for your Elementor website. You also need admin access to your WordPress backend so you can add code to the head of the page. Once you have your Mixpanel project set up and you have admin access to your WordPress site, head over to the Mixpanel documentation. The link to this documentation is in the video description and you need to copy the code in step one. Next, open up your favorite text editor and paste in the code you copied from the Mixpanel documentation into your document and delete line one. We don't need that. Head back over to the documentation, go down to step two and copy the code in step two. You're gonna paste that code right before the closing script tag that you copied in step one. Go ahead and paste that in delete out these comments. We don't need these since we're implementing for a WordPress site running Elementor, and we can delete these lines of code just to get started. The next thing we need to do is go into our Mixpanel project, go to project settings, and copy the project token. Head back to your text editor document and replace where it says your token with a single quote wrapped around the project token that you copied. Select all of this code and copy it. Now head back over to your WordPress website and find HFCM in the left column. This is the header footer code manager plugin that we installed previously. Click to add a new snippet. Snippet name can be Mixpanel. The snippet type is JavaScript. Site display is site wide. We don't need to exclude pages or posts. The location header, we're gonna show it on all devices. The status is gonna be active. Paste the code into your snippet area and save. Once you've done this and you head back into your Mixpanel project, go into events and you'll begin to see your events appearing here for page view. Now that you have Mixpanel connected to your WordPress site running Elementor, you could start adding additional event tracking in Mixpanel. Subscribe to the channel or check out the video playlist for additional videos on how to use Mixpanel with your WordPress website.